Welcome back. Once again to... I don't even know how I was starting that. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Mega Man 2. Honestly, I have no idea what I was going to say. Yeah. I don't know what I was leading into. I, I think you had a thought going, and then it was one of those thoughts that disappeared. So anyway, we're off to Heat Man. No, wait, I meant Flash Man. Yep. Because Flash Man is actually weak to Crash Bomber. And I know, I know, you, you obviously know which one he's kind of more weak to, but Crash Bomber is his actual weakness. And uh, once again, the controller comes back to me, so I've got it. And one thing I did not know until playing through this... This made me laugh so much because I knew what it was exactly, and I was like, oh shit, now he has to deal with this stage again. Yeah, one thing I did not know until I played through this stage, because I've seen plenty of playthroughs of this, and I don't think anybody mentioned it, Ice! Yeah, I think I think it's supposed to... I don't know if it's specifically ice or if it's this kind of polished polish stone that makes up his stage. But yeah, it's the ice mechanics come back for Flash Man's stage. And I felt so bad because I was like... Son of a gun. I wanna Son do, of a gun. I want to do these robot masters in this order and I just don't want to, I just don't want poor Naka to get stuck with I, the Flash Man. And here, here we are. Okay, so these barriers, whenever you see one, they can be destroyed by... Crash Bomber. And I'm gonna change your... Oh, I can't take it. <laughs> Stupid shoot, man. I'm gonna change over to item number two. It's actually best if you have the other items, but since we kind of chose, ah, this, ah, ah. chose this route and we only have item number two, it's the only way we can get up here, so... And we get another one up. Yay! Because we kind of need it. Yay! Yeah, get that one up back that I and lost. And you can go across the top route if you have the item number two again. It's a little more trickier, so I don't... I'm not gonna condemn you if you don't get it in one shot. Son of a gun! Wow, kind of just went sliding. Yeah, I have to, like, back up or something. Just enough to get it to spawn properly. <laughs> Ice! Stop yours! <laughs> Screw it! We're doing it this way! Dude, just shoot him. You know what? There. Works for me. Oh crap, I was supposed to- no, I wasn't. Nah, uh, you gotta kinda of use your air shooter for this guy, cause... This is a sniper armor with sniper toes, but the armor is actually really weak to air shooter. I don't know if it's like an invisibility frame thing, or if it actually is weak to it, but it takes them out pretty easily. And if you can, try to hug into that middle wall there. Come on, Mega Man! You're gonna mess up! Oh dang, you didn't mess up. I made it! Because this is actually the easier route you can go through. Because you come down here, and you just get a crash a little explosive wall you can hit with your crash bomber. And if you can manage it somehow, you can probably jump in the middle there, but I ain't holding my breath. I'm gonna try. Ha! Hey, you made it! I you forget I forget what's at the bottom of this. Uh not those. Uh weapon uh, uh I don't know what pellet you could have used. Uh I would go down to the right. Cause you get to skip over this guy. And hey. you get to come down in the middle where there's another sniper armor. Yeah, you probably could have jumped around on the top, but eh, who cares? I got this. I would have saved that for the crash bomber, but whatever. Yeah, but I didn't. And of course, this one, you can jump across the uh, top, but I would recommend item two because fuck you, we'll do this as legit as we want it. Not on frickin' ice, man. <laughs> I'm already tired of this BS. Like I said before, he was from the first game. Of course, there's a crash bomber wall, which means we only have, like, two crash bombers for Flash Man, but Flash Man also takes damage from the Mega Buster, so you're not entirely screwed. You and Ice Physics, I swear. Ice Man. Yeah, again, first game only. <laughs> Who's the dick? I'm a dick. Okay, so I'm gonna try to hit him with the explosion and miss entirely. Flash Man is actually not weak to the bomb itself, he is weak to the explosion. The thing oh, is, I didn't even his... freaking hit him with it, I wasted both of them, and the... now I die. The thing is, is, with his pattern, is he actually follows you around, like he's... This guy is freaking irritating. 
Get the crap away from me! Don't feel bad if you have to use an energy tank. That's what they're for. Oh man, got some nice hits in there. Hey. Oof. Yeah! yeah! You beat him anyway! Suck on that one, Flash Man. And with that, we actually get the Time Stopper. Which... Honestly, if I hadn't gotten that one bit where I just could unload on him for a second, that would not have happened. Yeah, well, like I said, I... if anyone judges you for using the energy tanks, you can tell them to suck it, because it's part of the game mechanics, all right? The whole point is they give you that little... See, moment. I feel I would at least like to save the energy tanks for when it's kind of hard and not just one of the dumb stages here. And we get item three! Which is... eh, in comparison. Item three... what's item one? The platforms. The floaty one? The floaty ones. What's item three? Item three is the, like, the treaded platform that walks up the walls. Okay, yeah, fudge item three. Yeah, not exactly the best. Uh, I don't even remember item three. <laughs> okay, I now hand the controller off to Ogre. Which, now we get to take on the Robot Master that weak to the Time Stopper, which everyone should have figured out by now. It's Whipman. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. It's Quickman. Ooh, if you actually noticed, his little crescent actually comes out of the screen here a bit. Like, literally, comes out of the screen. That's on purpose, because Quickman was originally visioned to be Mega Man's rival for this game. I don't know specifically why they thought that would work, because they used new Robot Masters for every game, but whatever. And then... Since that little bit of little bit of his crescent that goes outside of the window is the only thing leading on to anything in this game. Well, it's also the fact he has that uh, that smart ass smirk there, which I'm about to wipe off his face. So instead of being something kind of cool, instead we're left with thinking that they didn't edit the sprite right on the level select screen. I feel like you're all worried that I get this stage, and I'm thinking, no, no, I pretty much rock this stage. I rock this shit. Rock it hard with Rockman. Man, I'm really worried about the boss rush. Because some of these guys are alright, but some of these guys ain't. Hmm, I wonder why I have to fall down these things. Maybe it's because there are instant death babes! Oh my god! Yeah. Touch one and you die. There ain't no ifs or ands or buts. It's straight up blue, 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 blue for the blue bomber. And I come down this way because I get a one up. I get an energy tank, and I get a black screen that I don't know why it does that. And if you get hit by that enemy, you can actually walk, uh, face through the laser. Yeah. I mean, you could probably make it without getting hit by the enemy, but I think it's a lot safer just to yeah. take the hit and go down. Uh, I don't know why it black screens up here. I, I know why it hits the black screen here, because you're supposed to be, like, in a power outage kind of thing, but why specifically it starts on the screen above hand? I'm assuming programming stuff, but... Okay, now you're not actually letting them do it, but those guys do, like, throw little dudes out to chase you. Yeah, they throw out the tackle fire from, like, Fireman State. Yeah. But I didn't let them do it, because I'm a Mega Master. Mega Man! And, of course, here comes the Nightmare screen that was a nightmare for me for so long that whenever I actually played Mega Man 2, I put in a special password that let me skip Mega... Uh, that let me skip Quick Man, because I hated it forever. This was a nightmare for me as well. And now I just, like walk through it. What about that practice? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, so much for walking on through it. Wow, oh, the lasers again! Now, with uh, Flashman's ability, you could stop time here and just waltz them through the stage, but then you don't have Quick Man's weakness, so... budget. And it is very possible without it. In fact, everything in this game is possible without any power-ups, I think. <laughs> that was getting kind of tight. Yeah. My general consensus when you're running through the stage, and I win, yay! My hubris lost me a life, and then I realized it was hubris, is, uh... Try to lean to the left for the, for the whole thing, because you definitely get a lot better pockets out of it. I just had to die a whole lot. When I played with uh, a couple friends a couple years ago, that's when we played through Iceman's level and I gained my hatred of Iceman. Um, 
after we were done with Iceman's level, we decided to play uh, Mega Man 2, and the level chosen was this one. And I actually beat this level. So I have successfully beaten not only the levels that I've played in um, practice, but I've also beaten this one. Which does mean, though, that so far I have never beaten Crash Man, and, um... Well, so far just never beaten Crash Man. <laughs> and, of course, Quick Man actually has two weaknesses. The major one is Flash Stop... Uh, is Time Stopper. Be uh, for a full fl uh, Time Stopper bar, it takes out half his life. His other weakness is Crash Bomber, which you actually hit him directly with the bombs. You don't let the explosions hit him, you just shoot him into him. Shoot him in the face, you say? With bombs, I say. Oop. Oop. I also think he takes a little more damage from the Mega Buster. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. And now we have to wait like 20 minutes for that thing to explode. And it did, yay. And now I just sit here and watch as Mega Man psychotically stares into Quick Man as he dies. <laughs> just cold and emotionless. How are you doing with Time Stop? <laughs> I have no feelings to this victory whatsoever. It's Mega quick. Man's scary. Quick Man's just moving too fast! It's moving actually, too fast! That's can't actually slow part down. of his programming, is he actually moves so fast that his eyes can't keep up, that's why he runs into the wall and gets stuck in there. <laughs> That's actually a part of the reason for it, is that he moves so fast his eyes can't keep like up with it. his own eyes. His own eyes can't keep up with it, so he gets stuck on walls a lot. And with I, don't that, know, he get... wouldn't, I don't know, he wasn't moving that fast. Well, I've seen plenty faster Robot Masters. I mean, he's supposed to be one of the faster ones, but... With that, we get the Quick Boomerang, which is actually a pretty good weapon for this game. Not the best one, which we will secure next time, because... Yeah, it's, reason it's reasonably short range, but it uh, gets the job done. Yeah, which we will secure next time because he's in the rotation, and it's Airman. We have to beat him all over again. I knew it! I know, right? 